Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, you know I'm playing with this today and um, of course you know a lot of people have been commenting on the fact that this is a future of radio and that Texan for example with its new H501X or with its um, you know Texan PL990X um, it's old technology and people sh are moving on to these new things now um, and that's not exciting anymore and they're just staying in old technology you know what I don't necessarily agree with that that's my personal opinion and one of the reasons why is that an SDR is cool yes but my personal impression of an SDR, except for the fact that, yeah, there are some cool features here like noise reduction, but that could be added in a radio uh, without a screen. They could work on some, you know, DSP uh, system in a radio that would actually add great noise reduction at all. Where I am less impressed with a radio like this, even though it is cool looking, is because my impression of us an SDR is when you have a huge real estate when you have a big screen to see what's happening this is a small screen I mean first of all uh, already outside where I am it's getting more difficult to see so as a portable radio outside in the sunlight and so on uh, not the best that you'll have of course this could be better in the future but the bandwidth that you see how much of the spectrum you can see at once in such a small display for me makes this an intriguing device an interesting device but far from something that replaces a portable um, you know if I go out camping even if I would have all the power in the world this is not my first choice of a radio I'm bringing with me even if I had the original honestly uh, I would bring a Texan H501X or a Texan BL990X or, or a portable that's decent, works well, uh, way before I would bring this with me, honestly. And that's, that, that's a fact, personally, that would be. And it's not because I don't like SDRs. My main use in the home uh, is an SDR over my Icon my CRD500. But the difference there is that I've got 50 inch screen, 55 inch screen to see a big swath of the spectrum. So when I say, you know, I'm not impressed with this as a replacement for the typical portable today is in that sense. Um, I know some of you more advanced guys are more like, yeah, well, this is replacement. This is cool. This is going to be the future. Look, I think I think that the technology will be twofold. There will be the guys that love this and the guys that love regular portables. The other thing is that these things are not easy to operate. You know, if you come up to me and say, yeah, everybody can operate this. No. Okay. Stop. Stop thinking that everybody can operate this it's more complicated than it looks and when you operate this and you operate it well is because you have you had that learning curve where you learn how to use it but a lot of people get into this and they're like I don't know what to do now I don't know how many people wrote to me to tell me you know just that video you're tuning around and changing the um, you know the mode and and then the noise reduction and then the RF gain and I had no idea how to do any of that that gives you an idea of how complex these little things are but personally this is not my first choice and of course that's my personal opinion I know some of you that probably would be your first choice but one thing for sure except for the noise reduction that is pretty good this does not perform better than a good portable radio it's equal I will say uh, in general but not better um, except, like, you know, there's a few things. I, I, how many times did I talk about the noise reduction feature that I'm impressed with? you got to give it that, and that's for sure. But that's my personal opinion, and I think it depends on everybody uh, what we are going to use 
in radios uh, in the future and and maybe some device will come out at some point where it's going to be like oh this is cool now this is something i like and this is maybe what i want to use if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching